Hello, toe wrestling fans. I'm Kevin Ripa, and this is my Sands Three Minutes Max. Today, we're going to talk about imaging uh, data from a Surface Pro. Why a Surface Pro? Well, this is a device that not only can you not take apart and get the hard drive out of if you ever want to use it again, but uh, it's also one of these devices that doesn't have hardly any ports in order to connect all the stuff you need to connect to it in order to take a forensic image. So when we look at a Surface Pro, we can see that we have three ports. We have a power interface port, we have a USB 3 port, and a mini display port. In other words, we've got one port to connect all of the things to the device that we need to connect in order to collect the forensic image. Because with the screen, we're not going to be able to use the touch screen to interact with the device. So how do we do all of this? Well, we've got a, th a USB 3 powered hub, and powered hub being the key here. We've got a USB device that has our boot uh, program into it that we're going to boot into the Surface Pro with. We have a hard drive that we're going to push our forensic image out to, and then we have a mouse and a keyboard plugged in so that we can interact with the Surface Pro because, again, the Surface Pro with the screen, the touch screen is not going to work when we're booting from another device. As well, in many cases, the keyboard that comes with the Surface Pro also won't work when you're booting to another device. So we're going to press and hold the volume up and the power button simultaneously for about three to four seconds. Hold it in until you see the device's UEFI screen come up, and then you're going to take a picture of this screen with the PC information. You're then going to click on security and you're going to move to the security screen where you're going to shut off secure boot. Now you have to shut off secure boot if you want to boot into this with anything else. So when you click on change configuration, you'll click on none. The downfall to this is if this device is connected to a domain, then if you do this and you click OK, then you're going to basically lock out the machine and you're going to need the recovery key to bring this back online. So keep that in mind. Otherwise, click on OK, and then go over to Boot Configuration. You're going to want to uh, disable every device in the boot order except the USB storage so that you don't accidentally boot to something you didn't mean to. Then you're going to click on Date and Time, and you're going to take a picture of the date and time that, this, that the machine is displaying that this is occurring. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to click on Exit. Once you click on Exit, you're going to click on Restart Now. Once you click on Restart Now, the machine will start to boot, and if everything worked properly, you're going to see that red bar with the padlock, and then it's going to boot into whatever boot device you had set up. In this case, we uh, were using Paladin as our boot OS. So this is how we get to where we need to be when we're imaging a Surface Pro. So in the meantime, and in between time, that's it. Another episode of 3 Minutes Max.